Today's top stories on Reuters Breaking Views, LIBOR and what else this week, Spain. Joining me now is uh, Breaking Views, Chris Hughes. Chris, so we learned this week that the BBA, the British Bankers Association, will no longer have its role in coordinating, organising the LIBOR setting panel. Who will take that role and will that organisation be able to make any profit from it? Well, it's a good question. It's a big question, actually, for the reforms... Uh, to really be viable. Um, what we've got today is Martin Wheatley of the FSA outlining the, uh, the sort of final verdict on what should come after um, uh, the BBA uh, uh, LIBOR setting. Um, and what's conceived is that there'll be a sort of independent a body which then essentially uh, tenders the contract to uh, to uh, gather the rates for LIBOR and, and crunch out the rate. But we don't really have much detail on, on how that will actually work in practice. You know, will it be an attractive commercial proposition? Um, Who I might just, be interested in this? I mean, what sort of bodies well, are we talking kind of, about? I should, I should, um, this lays the opposite that, that, that Thomson Reuters actually um, has been involved in the uh, in the existing system, just in terms of the mechanics of collating the submissions of the various banks that then feed into the final LIBOR rate. But if you think, whenever you have this sort of you know, this this process in the financial markets where um, where you know lots of financial data points are crunched into a, a single benchmark, which then has uh, multiple uses across the markets, you know, for example, um, you know, equity indices or bond indices, you know, there are all kinds of different uh, revenue streams from licensing and the like and just from the sort of brand halo that goes with it that, that, that can come that, off that, Sorry, that. Uh, that, that brand, uh, if you like, uh, it's a bit of a toxic brand now, isn't it? Like, well, it may be now, it may be now, but of course, you know, if actually you can have a really robust um, uh, 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 system for, for selling LIBOR, then you can you can you can see the potential attraction. Now, you know, we have we haven't got a clue really what the economics of this of this are. It may be something actually which can sort of fund itself, and therefore you know this independent panel will be sort of overwhelmed with uh, with offers for, for people with bright ideas, you know, from the marketplace on how to. Um, you know how to come up with something that's really, you know, really, really, uh, really robust uh, to succeed the old BBA uh, sponsored LIBOR. But if not, I guess you know they may have to fall back on uh, some kind of you know levy uh, being uh, being 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 put on uh, those the banks are actually submitting the rate. I mean, very interesting to see how it how it turns out. As you say, you know there may be some. Uh, some bodies that think, well, we'd like to get involved in that, but but given given the fallout from it going wrong last time, you might think, well, if we have one mistake, it's not worth it. So we'll see what happens. Okay, Chris, and uh, as I said in the intro there, on to Spain. Um, mm. <laughs> the news flow from Spain is petering out, but today we have possibly two very important pieces of information. Uh, the bank stress test, which comes uh, unsurprisingly after the markets close, and a possible downgrade from Moody's. Um, what's, what, what's your take on that? Well, look, so far, what, we got, what we have so far, obviously, is the, the Spanish budget. Um, and broadly, you know, our view on that is it, it does tick the right boxes. Um, we're slightly concerned that it's based on um, rather rosy uh, projections of how the economy is going to perform. It's an incredibly weak economy. If it weakens further, then the assumptions that have been o on which the budget are based you know, could fall apart. But as things stand, we'd be pretty confident that, that Spain has done enough uh, to satisfy the ECB that the ECB can come into the market and start buying its bonds. Now, as you say, the next big kind of worry is going to be what these stress tests come out with. Um, they've got to be absolutely credible in terms of what is the number um, that the banks need in terms of new capital. 60 billion euros is the number out there. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll see enough? whether the market's yeah. satisfied. Okay, Chris, thank you very much. That's all for now. My thanks there to Breaking Views, Chris Hughes. For more agenda-setting financial insight, do watch our US Breaking Views show every day at 12.30 Eastern, 17.30 British Summertime. I'm Jamie McGeever. This is Reuters.